Famous throughout the Western world as fierce warriors, the Maasai of East Africa maintain a rich and complex culture. Despite their warrior-like appearance, they are a pastoral people, tied to the land and dependent on their cattle. East Africa has 97% farming people and 3% people who herd cattle. And their primary food is milk and meat. The Maasai have been considered among the wealthiest people in Africa because the milk is protein and protein means health. That combined with the fact that they are very beautiful, very tall, very different from the Bantu people that are the majority in East Africa, uh, have led to the, this reputation of, you know, marvelous warriors. Parkipuni Kasoi is the leader of the Maasai community. He has three wives, many children and many, many cattle. He is considered a wealthy man and threats to his wealth are ever present. Parkipuni describes a recent incident when a jaguar jumped into the corral full of cattle. He struck it with his throwing club and drove it away. The herd must be protected at all costs, because for the Maasai, cattle are life. The Maasai have long considered cattle to have been placed on earth to sustain them. And so, stealing cattle from a neighboring tribe is viewed as a divine right. Without a visible show of strength, the cattle would be stolen back again, and with them their food and their livelihood. Maasai males have prescribed roles in society that correspond to their stages of life, from boyhood to old age. They have a, what's called an age grade or age set system. And the first is birth to 10, where you're considered a herd boy. And you go out with the cattle every day, rain or shine, through open bush, miles every single day, not much water, and it is certainly disciplining, and it creates these very long-muscled people who, like long-distance runners, they all look like. And finally, the herd boys become so-called warriors, or ilmoran in Maasai. Somebody who's a protector of the herds. That's what the warrior's job is. This is kind of the high point that everyone Maasai will speak about as the most wonderful period of their life. The junior warriors of the community have gathered to practice their fighting technique. A young boy is sent up the mountainside to collect roughly cut limbs. These are used to hone their throwing club skills. Now they move on to staff fighting. The young herd boys watch the fun. They are eager to join in. One must wonder, would the Maasai ever have developed their rich and diverse culture, their religious rites and art forms, had their reputation as fierce warriors not existed? <laughs> 